One of the number one problems facing organizations today is data leakage. And the question everyone asks is why is this happening? Why is this occurring? The reason? Organizations are not taking a data-centric approach to security. They are focused on everything else, but they're forgetting the core principle. Cybersecurity is all about understanding, managing, and mitigating risk to your critical information. It's all about protecting and controlling that critical data. Hello, I'm Dr. Eric Cole from the SANS Institute, and I'm the curriculum lead and going to show you what are the three things that you need to do to be able to protect, control, and secure your information. First, in order to win at security, you need to know what your critical information is. Data classification. If you don't know what that critical data is, you can't protect it. Second, you need to know where it's located. Data discovery. Third, you need to be able to identify who's accessing the information when, where, and how data analysis. So let's briefly look at each three of these areas. With data classification, you need to be able to differentiate between public or private information. You need to be able to determine what information can leave your organization and what information can't. Now, data classification is not easy, but there's three things you can do to make it simpler. First, start with two levels. Don't start with a really complex scheme, two basic levels, public, private, classified or unclassified. Then if you need to take the classified or private data and further subdivide it, that's okay, but don't go too crazy on those levels. A simpler, more effective scheme is scalable. Second, when you start your program, make all of the data classified by default, and then only declassify the data that is needed for business reasons and won't cause a harm to your organization. Third, when you roll out the program, start with new data first. This way your existing data will be bound, it won't grow, and once all of your new data is classified, you can then go back and classify the existing data. At SANS, we have our SEC 566, which is our critical controls course, where two of the controls, critical control 15, focuses on protecting your data on a need-to-know basis, and 17 is all about data loss prevention, where we focus on how to build a robust classification process. After data classification, you need to do data discovery. You need to recognize where your information is located. What's scary? I have never ever had a single client that knows where their data is. Every time we do this, they say their data is located on one server and it's actually located on many others. So you need to have a list of all your servers and identify where your critical information is located. In SANSEC 401 Security Essentials, we lay that foundation for being able to discover and identify your critical information. Finally, step three is data analysis. You need to be able to control who is accessing your information and where it's going and where it's flowing. In SANSEC 501 Enterprise Defender, we spend an entire day showing you how to identify, control, and manage what information can leave the organization and what information can't. I hope you found this useful and remember, if you want to win in cybersecurity, you have to focus on your critical data, you have to do data classification to know what your information is that's sensitive, you need to know data discovery to see where it's located, and you need to know data analysis to perform and control the flow. If you would like more information, you can visit us at sans.org, and if you'd like more information on the cyber defense curriculum, you can go to cyber-defense.sans.org, and I look forward to seeing you at an upcoming conference.